Hi everyone, this is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, uh, Working as a Solutions Architect. Today we are going to learn about Azure DevOps. In short, it is called as ADO. What is Azure DevOps? Azure DevOps is an application lifecycle management tool. It's a web-based tool that provides all the various features that are required in almost all the software development projects. The URL of Azure DevOps is dev.azure.com. It takes you to this page where you can start working with Azure DevOps. If this is the first time you want to create an Azure DevOps account, you can click on start free button. If you already have an account, then you can sign into your Azure DevOps account by clicking on sign into Azure DevOps. Before even we do that, let's understand the features that Azure DevOps supports. As you can see here, there are six features that are primarily focused on Azure DevOps. The first one is Azure Boards. Boards can be used as an agile tool to plan, track, and discuss about the work that is done by your team members. Basically, it's a work management system. The second one is Azure Pipelines, which is used to build CI CD pipelines. And the third one is Azure Repos. This particular module helps us in posting private and public Git repos that can be used by our developers, DevOps engineers to push their source code and work as a team. And the next one is Azure test plans, which can be used by test engineer to manage all the test related artifacts. The fifth one is Azure artifacts, which can be used to manage and share packages. And the final one is marketplace extensions. So, in case if you don't see a feature that is suitable for your requirement, then you can look at the Azure DevOps Marketplace extensions, which has 1000 plus various features developed by the community. If you scroll down further, you will understand more about individual features. Here you can see Azure Boards, which can be used for planning the work. And you can see a simple board with various work items in different states. Now this talks about Azure Pipelines, which helps us in building CI CD for various applications. And then you can see Azure Repos which can be used for hosting Git repositories. In this screen, you can see a view of comparing two different versions of the source code. And along with that, you can also see team members chatting or discussing about a particular feature right within that file. And here, Azure Test Plans. This test plans helps us in managing manual test cases as well as exploratory test cases. And finally, we have Azure Artifacts, wherein we can manage all our artifacts. In this series of videos, we are going to learn most of the important Azure DevOps features. Please stay tuned. I'll be back.
with another video where we create an organization which is the first step to start working with Azure DevOps. That's it for this video. Bye-bye.